Hi everyone, welcome to Lottery Post's official YouTube channel where we will be posting content for all of you guys to enjoy. Uh, this is our very first YouTube video, so it's very exciting, but we're going to be getting into a really interesting topic straight away. It's a topic that's great for people who are new to the industry, people who have been in the game for the longest time, and it's something that we really think that you're going to enjoy. Put yourself in these shoes. You just matched all the numbers to hit the jackpot, with some crazy odds stacked against you. That kind of money would make anybody insane. Could you imagine? That's why you should know what happens when you win the lottery, and how you should step through that process if and when that does happen. It's important to note that the odds are very low, about 1 in 300 million in the United States, depending on whether you choose to play Mega Millions or Powerball. But there are some things that every winner should know and consider before claiming their prize. Here are the steps that we recommend with and when you hit that jackpot. Before you do anything, take a deep breath and put that ticket in a good spot. Some lotteries recommend signing the back of the ticket. We'll do a video on this later. The first decision you normally hear people talking about when a winner hits it big is whether or not they're going to take the cash option or the annuity. But that's not necessarily the first decision you should be making. Your first step should be gathering a team of professional financial advisors to help you manage your winnings before you even make the claim. Specifically, you will need a good lawyer, a financial planner, and an accountant. You could choose to add other team members like a charitable portfolio manager, but it's not something that's really necessary at this point. The team can help counsel you on which payout option is best for you, how to manage publicity, where to put all that money, and how and when to claim that jackpot, as well as a thousand other questions you are probably going to have. Your team will help keep you calm and knowledgeable as you navigate new uncharted waters of your wealth without making a wreck of things. You might be thinking, I don't need all that help. I totally trust myself to manage my own finances. Why should I pay someone to help me manage my money? Listen, it's a small price to pay compared to the millions you're already gonna be walking away with. Would you rather trust someone and pay a small fee for some great financial advice and manage your wealth smart and responsibly? Or would you rather risk losing it all, hopefully not, or a majority of it? Don't also feel pressured like you have to go through this alone. There's nothing wrong with seeking help. And remember, you're walking away with millions of dollars. This should be fun planning out how you're going to manage your new fortune. Second, create a budget and a vision for how you want your life to look and be realistic. There are too many unlucky lottery winners who went against financial advice that they received or just did not seek it, and they consequentially lost everything they had. There is one example that comes to mind, and that's David Lee Edwards, who did hire a financial advisor, but he blatantly blew off any advice that he had to give. Another example, Michael Carroll from the UK didn't hire a financial advisor at all, and within a short matter of time, he managed to blow off all of his winnings by spending it on the most ridiculous things. Third, Pay off your debt. It seems like the most sensible thing to do. You were planning on doing it anyway before you got your windfall, so don't ignore it. Just do it and let the weight roll off your shoulders. Fourth, restructure your wills and finances and think about how you want to structure your life and your winnings. Take the time to really think about how you're going to structure your finances, your winnings, and your life in the future. Having a lot of money can definitely be a lot of fun, but it can certainly be a burden for those who are unprepared to bear it. It seems kind of morbid, but really think about it. What's going to happen to that money when you die? Where's the money going to go? Who's it going to go to? These are really things that you should be considering. Now is also the best time to sit down and think about your close relationships, namely your family and friends, and potentially even some charities you feel personally connected to. Will you share your winnings? Are there any agreements you made prior to winning the lottery that you would like to honor? Conversely, are there any people in your life that you'd like to avoid? There's absolutely nothing wrong with being charitable, but definitely be careful about those people who are coincidentally coming back into your life right when you've hit millions. Fifth, consider your ability to claim anonymously depending on the state you purchased your ticket in. Some states allow you to hide your identity and claim anonymously, but there are varying rules depending on the state that you purchased the ticket in. Some reporters can actually file what's called an open reports request, which kind of defeats the whole purpose of claiming anonymously. So sometimes the best thing to possibly do is having a brief news conference where you are revealing as little information as possible. That way, now that reporters know your name and you've already had your news conference, they're not gonna be as hungry to look for information on you later on down the road. Because even if you do claim your prize under a trust, sometimes the lottery has to know who specifically is still claiming that prize. There are so many different factors that can affect someone's anonymity in the state that they are claiming in. Some states require that the hometown of the winner be released, 
and some states only allow players to claim anonymously only if they win above a certain prize amount. Regardless, if you win, it's just best to check your state's rules to see what options you have. However, some states do require you to publicly disclose your identity. Some lotteries require winners' likenesses and names for a couple of reasons. One reason is that it ensures transparency. If a legitimate winner is claiming a prize, you can verify that the person is not associated with the machinations of the lottery and that there's nothing going on behind the scenes. Another reason is that a lottery just might want to use your name and likeness for advertising purposes. If other lottery players see that real people are winning the lottery, why can't they? Again, there are a lot of opinions on the subject. However, if you are in a state where a lottery does require you to disclose your identity publicly, you might want to wait a month or two before actually claiming your prize to let the hype of the win die down. That way, when you do claim your winnings, some people might have already forgotten it by then, and there might be some renewed interest when your name does come out, but it could potentially be less of, of a media storm when you actually do claim the prize months down the road, prior to when the news came out months before. Plus, there's nothing wrong with ensuring that you've made all the necessary preparations. You're probably going to have to wait a couple months anyway so that you know that you're prepared to accept that cash. Just don't wait too long. It varies by state, but typically you'll get either 180 days or a year to claim your prize, except if you're in New Mexico. If you're in New Mexico, you get 90 days. If you're curious, you can see a complete list of claim periods by state by going to USA Mega. If that's something you're interested in, I'll throw a link in the description. You can check it out below. So going back to our steps. Sixth, now is the time where you get to decide whether you're going to claim your prize as a cash payout or an annuity, which are yearly installments generally paid out over 30 years. However, it is important to note that each prize is paid out with different taxes applied. Nearly all winners opt for the cash payout just because they get access to the money immediately. However, the annuity does have its advantages. Taking the annuity reduces the tax bill a little and offers a stable income that climbs 5% annually. The installments might also help a winner control how much money they have access to at a time so that there's less of a risk of spending it all at once. The final step. And the best part, claiming your prize. Your prize will have to be claimed in the state that you purchased your ticket from. So for example, let's say you're from New Jersey and you take a vacation to Florida. On your vacation there, you purchase a Mega Millions ticket. You head home the next day and you watch the drawing the next night. And surprise, you won. Guess you're gonna have to take another trip back to Florida because that's exactly where you're gonna have to claim your prize. So when are you gonna be getting your winnings? That's a good question. If you are in a state that does not allow you to claim anonymously, chances are you're gonna be shaking the lottery director's hand while being handed a big check at a press conference. Unfortunately, you can't cash that big check, but not to worry. Usually your winnings will come in about a week or two after you do claim your prize. And now, taxes, everyone's favorite subject. State taxes vary widely, but for all winners of $5,000 or more, all states will automatically withhold 24% in federal taxes before you get a single dime. For non-US citizens, that number is bumped up to 30%. Some big states like California don't withhold taxes from lottery winnings, and other states like Texas don't have individual income taxes at all. For others, the state takes a bite, especially in New York, where winners would need to pay a tax of 8.8% for the state. For residents of New York City, they need to pay an additional 3.9%. To see what your federal and state taxes would amount to, you can check out USA Mega's Mega Millions and Powerball jackpot analysis tools, which will show you exactly what your winnings would amount to based on your filing status and your state taxes, both for annuity and cash option. In case you're interested in looking at that, I'll include a link in the description below. After you finish hiring your team, claiming your jackpot, and participating in whatever minimal amount of publicity you need to do, now is the time to get away and take a nice long vacation. Get far away to someplace where nobody knows you. We all see how fast the news cycles nowadays, after a few weeks, the media will no longer be interested in talking about that million or billion dollar jackpot, and you probably won't be seeing many reporters camping out outside your home. That's not to say that you won't have friends, neighbors, or relatives, or even strangers hounding you for cash and donations, but all that's gonna be diminished while you're out doing whatever it is you wanna do. Remember that team that you hired? Because you should. You paid them to help. You will get hundreds or thousands of requests asking for money and donations, and you will hear every sob story in the book. Some might be real, but most are probably the result of some very good acting lessons. By filtering every request for money through your team, you can deal with those requests without feeling that any truly good causes are being missed. Now might also be a great time to add a charitable portfolio manager to your team. So when someone comes to you asking for money, no matter how pitiful the story sounds, always filter the request through your team. Don't make any split-second decisions on handing out money. 
Unfortunately, family might be the most difficult to deal with, and that's just something that you're gonna have to figure out how to handle while you're out relaxing on the beach. Just try to avoid adding any unnecessary drama to your life. Most importantly, just smile and remember how lucky you are to be the winner of so much wealth that it can improve your life and the lives of family for generations to come. So whether you're a seasoned player or whether you're new to the game, hopefully this video was able to give you a better idea of what steps you should take if and when you win that big jackpot. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Uh, this is really exciting, something new that we just started, so stay tuned for more. See you next time.